If you want to be able to work from anywhere, the iOS Mail app is a really easy way for iPhone users to check their email on the go. Much like the Windows Mail app from our last tutorial, iOS Mail app can be used to connect all of your inboxes from different mail servers in one place. In this video, we'll go through the basics of connecting Outlook.com and Microsoft Exchange accounts in your Mail app. If you're a fan of our tutorials and want to help us out on the algorithm, give us a like, subscribe, and leave a comment to help others find our videos. First, what's the difference between an Exchange and an Outlook account, and how do you know which one to use when you're setting up your Mail app? If you're connecting a personal account or you've created an account on the Outlook app or website and have a paid account ending in at Outlook.com, you'll use the Outlook login portal. If you use the Outlook app for work, but you have a company account ending in a web address, you'll use the Microsoft Exchange login for your mail app too. You can skip to that portion of the video using the Exchange timestamps in the description below. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is navigate to our mail settings. An easy way to do this is to swipe down from your home screen and type in mail. You're going to see the mail settings gear icon pop up and you're going to want to click on that to navigate to your mail settings. In your mail settings menu, we're looking for the account option. This is going to display all of the accounts currently connected to your mail app. Click add account and select outlook.com from the options listed on the screen. Use your full Outlook.com email address and password to sign in. Once signed in, it's going to open your Outlook options menu, where you'll have the option to toggle on and off these settings. Click Save, and your account will be added to your accounts on Mail app. The process for signing into an Exchange account is going to be largely the same. From our Mail settings menu, we're again going to select Accounts and Add Account. From here, we're going to select the Microsoft Exchange option. In the Exchange menu, we're going to enter our email address. You'll see that the description defaults to Exchange. From here, you're able to go ahead and add a custom description. For mine, we'll use Language Account. Once you've entered your email and description, go ahead and click Next and Sign In. You may be prompted to sign in again from a Microsoft 365 dashboard or your account will be pushed through if you're already logged in on your device. Once signed in, you'll see the same menu with options to toggle on or off. Click Save to have your account saved to your Mail app. If we switch over to our Mail app, we can now see our Exchange account inbox listed among the other inboxes in our app. Now that we're all signed into our accounts, let's see what extra features we can tweak in the Mail app. From our Mail Settings menu, if we scroll down until we see Signatures and click, we'll open the Signature option menu. From here, we have the option to create one signature for all accounts or to individually create a new signature for each of our accounts. If you scroll down, you'll see the account name listed and a box to create your signature. If we navigate back to our Mail app, and open a new message, we'll see that our signature displays automatically. Let's say that you want to increase the number of lines shown on your inbox preview in the Mail app. To do this, we'll go back to the Mail settings and look for the Preview option. From there, we can click and select how many lines we want to display. If we go back into our Mail app, we can now see that our inbox is displaying four lines for each message preview. Selecting Swipe Options will let you customize the left and right swipe shortcuts for your Mail app inbox. If you have multiple accounts connected to your Mail app, you can also go into Mail Settings to select the default account for new messages sent within the app. To delete an account, we'll go back into our Mail Settings, back into our Account Options, and select the account that we want to delete. From there, we'll select the red delete account prompt, confirm, and we'll see that the account has been removed from our account list. If we go back into our mail app, we'll see that the account has been removed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest content.